Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. Uh, now we're gonna do lesson eight, virtual pet with uh, Sprite Lab. So it seems like we're gonna uh, make a game like this. So first, okay, so we're just gonna explore this. Okay, so it says virtual pet, check out the cool pet, play with the virtual pet program. Okay, read the code to see how it works. You can even make changes. Okay, we are allowed to make changes. What happen uh, when the pet touches the other sprites and what happens? So let's explore what happened. But before that, let's do some prediction. Okay, okay. Let's read the code and then try to guess what is gonna happen. So when you press the run, the background is gonna be like this. We have three sprite: the dog, food, and the ball at different locations. We have a different size for dog, food, and the ball. And the food and the ball is going to be draggable. So that seems like you'll be able to drag them. And then when the foot touches dog, the dog is going to change its size. So it's going to be a bit bigger and then play a sound. And the similar when the ball touches the dog is gonna stop the previous behavior so like if there was a previous behavior and then it'll start to spin right and then when you click it it's gonna stop the previous behavior and start heading north cool so let's play this all right so let's do this okay so it doesn't come back, so let's drag it back and Let's try with the tennis ball. Let's see what happened. Start to spin right. All good. And then now do a click. It didn't? Oh, I pointing to north. It's not actually moving. Okay. So it'll start. Okay. Cool. So it's moving a bit. Okay. Cool. All right. You can play around with this and but you're gonna keep moving it's the next one okay so now i think we're gonna build a game right so it's your turn to create your own virtual pet let's start by making a sprite for your pet and its food okay so this is the optional challenge you can actually click this and then can add a new pet or like you can choose from here or you can click and then choose okay let's take a rabbit okay, you can pick a rabbit mm, all of them are cute let's uh confuse let's click pick her done okay and then now we go to code so now we'll have a pet so we know how to add a pet uh, we make a new sprite and then here we can change okay for this okay we grab this okay let's change the background a bit because it's not obvious okay let's use this okay and then we can change the location for pet somewhere here uh, to sprite okay so let's grab another sprite make a new sprite Let's give some carrot rabbits love carrot right so I'll put it here and then maybe I wanted to make the rabbit a bit bigger okay yeah so different location we did that and then change the size of the rabbit so I can go here uh, set size okay so I want to set the size of the rabbit to maybe 200 so it's gonna be double okay so cool i'm happy with that maybe we can move it a bit maybe 150. cool so 100 is as it is 150 means one and a half times bigger cool so we have two okay i think we're all good for this one so let's press run cool all right so we're gonna build on it because this is what this is sign. So we'll add new behavior as we go. And at the end of this uh, lesson, we'll have a game. Cool. 
So Mega says they can move the food to your pet with the being draggable. Draggable. Okay, cool. So add a new sprite begin block to your code so we can go here. Okay, I'll just press okay so it minimize a bit. Cool. So go sprite. Is it in behavior? Okay, yeah, it's in behavior. So we add we want this rabbit no not the rabbit we want the carrot to be shruggable okay and then we can run to see how that works so we we'll press run and then see we can move this but we can't uh, I'll keep playing but we can't move this cat right because we haven't added the we haven't added the behavior but we add it for this carrot so in the game if you add the draggable behavior you can you'll be able to drag that okay so let's go to the next one so now let's use new when touches so remember event so it's not gonna like if we add a code under the event is only happen when that even happens so in this case let's add this Okay, so event we one touches and then we need to change our character rabbit touches the carrot so that means when we actually drag this carrot to the rabbit whatever code we are gonna add this will happen okay so sprite select it to sprite we did that use the change plug below this event to make your pet grow okay so our pet is rabbit so we'll go begin and then we'll choose rabbit and then we'll add a behavior call growing okay so that's what they ask right so when we drag this carrot to the rabbit we want it to grow so that's what it, the code is saying so it's not gonna happen it's not gonna do anything now but as soon as we move it it will keep crying. Cool. Okay. So next, let's add another draggable. Okay. Could try a toy. Okay. So similar, we'll add. I'll just move this so I have more space to create another sprite. So similar way, we'll create another sprite, and then maybe take a. What can we take? Take a ball maybe. Okay, let's take a ball and then I put it maybe somewhere here. And the ball looks a bit bigger, so I'm just gonna change its size. So set the tennis ball 50. Yeah, that looks good. And yeah, toy. So we're using the tennis ball for rabbit as well. And then change the size, we did that. And then give the new spread being draggable, draggable as well. So similar thing, just gonna go behavior, begin, and then from behavior we'll grab this, and then we'll just change the character. So that was the carrot. No, not the carrot. That is the tennis ball. Cool. So let's run, and then you can drag. Okay, it's too fast. So you can drag this as well, right? So this draggable behavior is added. Cool. So going to the next one. Now let's show you a bit excitement by giving it a behavior when the new sprite touches it. Okay. So we use another touch event. I'll just uh, copy for this. And so when touches, I don't see the tennis ball. Not sure why it's not there. Ah, oh, maybe it's underneath, okay. So touches tennis ball, we want, maybe not growing. Let's see what can we make her to do. So 
I'm maybe wandering, right? Okay. So let's see what happened. So we touch that. She'll start wandering. So she'll start playing with the. Uh, what is it called? Playing with the tennis ball. But one thing, if we do, like, suppose if we do the carrot trust and then do this so can you see two behavior is going on so if you don't want two behavior you can actually add stop the previous behavior cool uh, we explored it in lesson seven i think how can you change your behavior how can you stop a behavior and then add a new behavior okay so great job what else can you add to your program? Try uh, anything you like. So there are a few hints like you can add. So add another sprite, you put a different way. Uh, use a pet click block, excitement, a different behavior. Chittering. So I'll leave it for you. I'll try to add different behavior. It's gonna be the similar ways. And yeah, share your project when you're done. Uh, I'll be happy to see your project as well. And if you leave it as a comment, other people will be able to see it as well. So to share, what can you do? You can press the share button, copy the link and paste it in the comment section. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.